What's happening chums? Here we are with another unboxing with chums kind of of a sort that's got a beard hair on it, never mind that. As you can see today we have Near Automata and Near Gestalt and Replicant original soundtrack vinyl box set. Beautiful. And this is Emil's little face. This literally just came through the door about half an hour ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, hopefully the lighting's right in here. My, yeah. <laughs> my, we, we're having to do this in my room and my we, light's gone. So. We were shooting a video at the time and then it came well, whilst yeah, we were shooting. If you watch our, yeah. part one of our Doki Doki Literature Club video, which is mm. probably going up after this actually. But anyway, yeah. when you watch that, that that's what that's And we be. thought we got to do an unboxing for this. But hey, um, Very yeah. ghetto DIY unboxing at yeah, the moment. because it just turned up. So mm -hmm. I thought, why not? Let's do it, okay. do it with a phone. But yeah, the, you can see the track list on the back for each game. Uh, they are in Japanese. Mm. It's white on the very yeah, light it's background. White, white on like silvery blue yeah, So you can't really see it, but it's in Japanese anyway. Yeah. So, I mean, I think there is English after it. Yeah, there is, but it's really small text. It's I can't even read it myself. Get closer to... That says Birth of a Wish, that much I can see. You can just about see it. Uh... It was a radiant wind. Yeah, so <laughs> let's get this open. Mm -hmm. This is a double. I think this is two double LPs. Mm -hmm. so I love... Near, the first near on 360 yeah three you always one. always going on about to me and dan yeah. to play it because I, I own it on the 360 button i still haven't got around to playing it i think you were with me when i bought it in croydon that I time I might have been, yeah. yeah but that that is one of my favorite games mm. of that generation and automata is good but mm -hmm. for my mind it isn't as good as the first near so mm. but the soundtrack is still fucking incredible these these are probably two of the best game soundtracks there are mm -hmm. So when I saw this, I had to order it. Oh, so, well, Nice. So there's Automata. And there is Gestalt. And she's from the first one, isn't she? That's Kaine. Mm -hmm. And that's 2B, obviously. Everyone knows 2B mm -hmm. by now. But this is this artwork's by Sui Yoshida, mm -hmm. who did some artwork for Tokyo Gore. I think he actually did like the main artwork for the manga. But, um, yeah, they're getting the same art there. I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see that. Very, yeah, you can see that. It's very faint. But you've got the records in each side of the gatefold. Mm -hmm. LP. It's got that new smell that I it like. Smells lovely. Mm -hmm. But then again, on the back, mm -hmm. a bit more artwork. And um, yeah, you can see the track list there. You might actually be able to pick see it up now. With black on the English is really small. It's tiny. <laughs> you can see snow in summer, hills, mm -hmm. radiant winds, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Song of the Ancients, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Kine Salvation, which is also amazing. Mm -hmm. The whole soundtrack's amazing. I have, it's amazing. I actually have this. Where is it? Somewhere. But you have the CD soundtrack somewhere in here. Mm -hmm. There it is. Right. That's the near replicant Nuga Start CD soundtrack. Um, I think that probably has more tracks in it, to be honest. I think these are kind of like shorter mm -hmm. because they're in vinyl, I guess. But, but yeah. Honestly, like, part of the reason I wanted this is kind of like as a collector's piece. I don't even have a record player. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of stupid in that sense. But have you have to buy, to buy you one. You can get one in HMV now. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. It's got a lunar tear on the back. Which yeah. is the flower. And there you go. So the insert again has the track list and some lyrics as well. Is that in English or in Japanese? Oh, it's English, English yeah. there. Let's just have a quick scroll down. It's nice gold on black there. Yeah, it looks really nice. Mm hmm. I mean, because as I was saying, we don't have any light in here, mm -hmm. so I haven't used the light on the phone, so it might be a bit harsh. But I mean, that's nice gold on black. It looks really nice. Mm -hmm. And then um, there is one record. I'm not going to take it out of the plastic. Why would you? Not to play or anything, for God's sake. I mean, my brother mm -hmm. has a record player, so I might borrow that off him. And mm -hmm. I mean, I have to listen to it. I only have one other record. Mm. My name, but you know, it's side A. Sorry, I have to get. Yeah. Yeah. And then side B. Yeah. And so that's one. Let's get that back in there so you can sound. You. No, no, please, Ross, no. And then obviously there's the other record, side D, side C, C. and D. Nice. I'm 
totally failing at putting these back in the sleeves. It's raw, it's like you've never done an unboxing before. <laughs> well, not of a vinyl. <laughs> I say, I it's own one other vinyl. Oh, that doesn't want to go back in. Okay, we'll just leave that we'll there, sit for, there for a second. Uh -huh. And we'll go, we'll go and visit 2B. Again, same artwork on the front, mm -hmm. very faint. Really don't want to even crease this up or anything. This one's silver. Got the Yorha sigil on the back. And then again, some more lyrics. Weight of the World, which is uh, the end credit song from Automata. Very nice. And then you've got the pattern that's on 2B's skirt. Of course. On the bottom. And then again, there's side B again, this time the Yorha sigil on the side A. Side A. What am I even doing? <laughs> side B. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see if I can actually put this one back in, because I'm apparently inept with vinyl. Before we get the next one out, there looks like some writing on the inside of the main box as well. I'll have a look at that. Success. I notice on your t-shirt you've got 2B on there. I have. Yeah, let's have a look. And it also says Weight of the World. Oh, yeah. Which is a song lyrics we were just... Where did you that. get this t-shirt from? Um, one of those online t-shirt <laughs> sites. QWERTY or something. Oh, all right. T-Fury, I don't know. One of those mm -hmm. kind of things. It's not the well-known one that everyone goes to. I, mean, I think it was I think it was QWERTY. They're oh. fairly well-known. This side C. D. Let's put that back in and then we'll make sure we get the other one back in properly. So yeah, I am going to have to buy a record player at some point to actually listen to these. Because I do want to, I bought them mainly as a collector's piece, but I do want to listen to them as well at some point. And yeah, I like the sound of vinyl. I prefer like obviously MP3 and CD is more convenient. But vinyl is nice. It's got mm. a nice sort of pop and, his, and crackle to it. Or is that? I think that might be Rice Krispie. <laughs> Damn it! Go in there properly. Right, so that's sticking out, but never mind that. Right, so that's the two double LPs. And then the collector's box has some stuff. I can barely see that. Yeah, it's very faint. Mm, they've not chose the right colour to put their font in. It says Composer, which I guess is Keiichi Okabe. Because it's the, the, the font colour is the same cut, near enough the it's same. Pretty, it's just a different shade of it the... It is pretty much. Yeah. I guess that says Keiichi Okabe. And maybe mm. that says Yoko Taro, director. Right. And then the rest is just all in kanji and I can't read it. And then same again, there's some stuff down there. And the QR right. code. All right. But yeah, that's the near Gestalt mm -hmm. and Automata mm -hmm. final box set. Ah, oh, box is bent. That's not. Damn. That's not on. I mean, this thing cost me like sixty quid. Yeah. So yeah, that is that. And I did say I own only one other vinyl. I think I just quickly future keep on that for a sec. Ooh. So I might as well show the other, the one other vinyl I own. Mm -hmm. it's kind of related. Ross is going off script here. Um, he didn't tell me this. He was going to do this. No. <laughs> the only other vinyl I own is this. Ah, oh, the Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, Data Discs Pan Panzer Dragoon. Because Panzer Dragoon is probably my favourite abandoned franchise in the world. And that's um, the cool thing about this is that it's coloured vinyl. It's like sky blue vinyl. Mm. Which is a shame they didn't do that for the near one, it's just sort of classic black, but some people will be happy with that. I think it would have been cool if they'd done it a different colour, but... Ah, we will do that later. But yeah, that's the near final box set, which is really nice. Very nice. And I paid 60 quid for that, right on top of Christmas, which is mm. kind of annoying. They put on the site, on the mm. uh, Square Enix store website, Mm -hmm. It was coming out in January, so I was like, thank fuck for that. Let yep. me get Christmas out of the way. And then they just charged me for it and sent it out anyway. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. What the hell? Well. I'm happy it's come. Yeah, it looks amazing and mm. it's awesome music. 
So well, that's that. Um, so I might, if I can, go to my brother's place and steal his record player. Mm -hmm. I might put some clips at the end of the video. All right. So I can record that in time with some of the music playing. You might get a copyright strike for that. Though. I might well do, but we yeah. don't monetize our videos, so it doesn't really mm. matter. But yeah, there we go. All right. Thanks for watching, Fair. and let me know if you bought a copy of this in the mm -hmm. comments below mm -hmm. and what you think of it. Mm -hmm. And also, you can buy them separately, but why, okay. would, you, why would you not buy the box set? All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, tune in next time for another unboxing in the future. Zang. Zang.